Well, hey, you guys, how are you? I thought it would be a good time to jump in with a good old fashioned favorites, what I'm buying now, what's worth my spend now videos. If you've been watching lately, you can see I'm in my science and research era over here, getting into stem cell treatment research, peptide therapy, and I have more of that coming. For those of you that are interested, I have a conversation with another peptide expert coming up. I have so much more to say about it, but, but of course there's still room in my life for skincare and my self-care treatments. What I've been doing lately is kind of a use up because again, I'm splashing some money over there on that peptide therapy. So I've been really scrutinizing what can I not spend money on, what's worth my spend, and I'm gonna share some of that with you today. I've got some hair, skincare, one new device, which if you know me, I'll spend a year or two looking for the right device, so I pulled the trigger on one I'm super excited about. And yeah, let's get into it. Hey, starting out with just a beautiful shower gel. This is actually an oil to gel formula. It's the Naturium Glow Getter. If you guys haven't tried this, it's definitely, in my opinion, worth a try. I kind of like everything about it. The price point is amazing. The ingredients are solid, gentle. I love an oil to gel, you know, sort of low foam kind of situation in the shower. And something that's also important in the shower, less so important outside of the shower, is the packaging. This is nice, grippy, it's weighted, it's not falling down, you don't have to worry about, you know, screwing on a top or dropping a glass uh, bottle. It's really kind of perfect. The scent of this one, I know it does come in different formulas, there's like a brightening one. I decided to get the one that's really just um, got the linoleic and oils in it, um, squalene, glycerin. It's extremely moisturizing, beautiful, very light scents. You know, for the price point, for everything about it, honestly, it's quite beautiful. So I'm really enjoying this. And I don't mess around experimenting with different shampoos, conditions. I used to have like four or five of them at a time. I just use Hyel now. And when I buy one of these tubes of the shampoo, this is the Hydrate. I usually have been using the Volumizing and I really like the Hydrate. It's gorgeous, they're both gorgeous, smell so beautiful. It's super concentrated. You don't need a large amount to get this beautiful lustrous foam. So botanical, so many good ingredients in here to keep our follicles producing to help prevent hair loss with the aging process. Absolutely love it. Feel it's worth it. A tube of this usually lasts me seven to nine months. And it's about $28 for the shampoo. This time I got the leave-in. I always use a leave-in on my hair after I towel dry, spray through, dry, you know, color treated hair. I need to have protection from just the just to keep the moisture in, also to protect if I'm gonna blow dry, use a hot iron, whatever. So Continue to absolutely, absolutely love. I don't have to order these very often. When I run out of the Hyel mask and I'm not quite ready to order another, I will use this Macadamia Natural Oil Mask. This has been around, I've used this for over a decade. It's so gorgeous. It's about $16 for this tube. It has a very botanical, tropical, light smell to it. Nothing musky or perfumey, which I don't enjoy. It's very similar to the Hyel in its notes. And it, this is a beautiful mask. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just perfect for dry, color-treated hair. Just keeping that moisture. It's this moisturizer for your hair. I was in Ulta the other day, IRL, and I came across these. And, you know, I have a little eye gel addiction. What is so beautiful? I was going to put these on for today's video, so I'll just do it right now. This is These are the Live tinted copper peptide eye gel masks. And I mean, there's just nothing about this that I could pass up. It was, I think they were 24, but what is what was so appealing about these eye gels? Not only are they absolutely, look at that, oh my God, they're so gorgeous, I wanna wear them outside. 
So two of the ingredients I am always seeking, copper tripeptide and caffeine. And look at that. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. I can't, I'm going to go out and meet a friend for a glass of wine tonight. I want to leave them on. They're so gorgeous. Um, I think these were about 24, something like that. And I just thought, you know, this is just such a treat to myself on weekends when I'm doing extra skincare or in the evening after I've done my skincare and I'm chilling. It is just a treat for myself. This is a luxury product and I really, really love the formulation on this. So what a fun pair. There's five in here, five pairs in here. So this is, this is a really fun find. So for my microcurrent and RF besties out there, I know usually the device of course will come with a gel often. Oftentimes the gel is so expensive. I have decided that my absolutely favorite conductivity gel is the 70 Wellness. This is the one uh, company that makes the Myolift Mini, which is my microcurrent um, device of choice. But the, the reason that I settled on this being my favorite microcurrent gel is I can use this Yes, with my Myolift Mini, if I was going to bust out my new face, I don't usually use new face anymore. I just use my Myolift Mini. I find it very effective. Um, but I can use this with Myolift Mini and I can use it with my Tripolar Stop Rosé. Hey, you guys, editing share here. As it turns out, this gel is not working well with my Tripolar so I'm going to definitely use it for microcurrent and it still is my favorite gel. I'm gonna experiment with using some glycerin with this gel and see if I can get it to work with RF, but um, it still is my favorite gel for microcurrent. Where no other gel do I feel like this about, I don't feel like I have to take this gel off. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have a code, you can get 10% off with Cheryl 10. And so I think it brings it to like 27. Listen, I'm on maintenance now with microcurrent and with RF. So I'm doing microcurrent two to four times a month and I'm doing radio frequency once every four to six weeks. So this is gonna last me the rest of the year and maybe into next year. Keep it in the fridge. It really does feel like skincare. And I have two tinted moisturizers, both a little bit different that are thankfully, thankfully, both winners. No, no flops here. So that is so, so good. Um, starting out with the Iris and Romeo. I don't know if some of you have seen this on Instagram. I'm sure that's where I got caught up with it. But this is the weekend skin. And I have shorts on both of these. This is a kind of exactly what it describes itself as weekend skin. You're getting up, you want to put something on, maybe a little bit of evening of skin tone, definitely protecting your skin from the sun, and simple complexion product. What I like about it is it has vitamin C in it. And I don't, here's a scandalous thought. I don't always have a vitamin C serum in stock. I don't have one right now. You know, I just, I sort of let it run out. I always want to make sure I have one fresh and I don't always use everything. Otherwise I would have 80 products. Okay. And I used to do that, but I don't do that anymore. So. My perfect formulation is one where I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get a little evening of my skin tone, but I'm going to get skincare ingredients. I'm going to get things that are, are contributing to the health of my skin over time, not just covering me up. And I really do love this. It's quite beautiful. I would say in between a sort of radiant and just normal finish, nothing too glazy or glowy. Um, very pretty. I don't think you'd need to powder it. I'm not a powder person, but it truly is just put it on, even out your skin tone, make it look lovely, protect your skin and, and you're done. So, Laura Mercier, Tinted Moisturizer, Light Revealer. This is the Light Revealer one. Now, I used to use Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer ages ago, like 2013, 2014. And remembering back on it, I always felt that it was kind of a little, I don't know, a little thicker and matter than what I would want for my skin now. But when I saw the Light Revealer, I thought, hmm, and I was, this is my hack lately, 
I'm not gonna buy a complexion product unless I am IRL in the store, looking at it, swatching it, maybe doing even a little bit on my, <laughs> on my jawline to see what this product looks like on my skin because I don't wanna take complexion products back that just don't work. I mean, I know sometimes it's unavoidable, but I'm trying to avoid it. So in store, I was able to determine my shade. I think it's 2W1. It is just so gorgeous on the skin. I am wearing it today. You're not gonna get a huge coverage, but it really does give a little light to the skin, a little luminosity. Um, not not too glowy, not too dewy, uh, SPF 25. So you're gonna wanna use, if you're gonna be out in the sun, you're gonna wanna use a sunscreen underneath. But it's absolutely just a gorgeous complexion product, not too dewy, not giving me too much shine. In fact, for me, this is almost like a matte product. I know that's ridiculous because it's not, but it's, it's, it's kind of tamping down all my skincare a little bit but giving me that prote protection, giving me that um, evening out my skin tone and just feels really, really good on the skin. Wears really well, neck, even decollete. So I'm really enjoying the Laura Mercier Light Revealer. Nice. So sometime last year, a long time back, my Adoro LED light mask gave out on me. So I have spent a good year looking at what I wanted to replace it with. And the reason that I could pause for so long is I have, I still have my trophy skin, my original that I got back in 2015 little LED light panel. And it's great. I mean, it's eight years, still going strong, but I knew that I did want to get something. And I'm so glad that I took so long to think about it, to run it through my mind, to research, because I didn't end up getting a mask at all. And I couldn't be happier because I now have a panel. This is the Mito Red LED and Near Infrared Light Panel. This isn't light, it's not flexible, but it is powerful. I'll do a whole separate video on why for me, I wanted the power of a panel and the benefits that that brings because it's not just cosmetic, it's also really offering whole body benefits, anti-aging benefits. Super interesting to really look at all the benefits that red light therapy brings. So it's not just a little cosmetic benefit, it's really benefit for the whole body internal, you know, it's that recent theme of like internal anti-aging that I've really been diving into and I couldn't be happier to spend my $300 on 300-ish, a little more, on that panel as opposed to a mask. I'm okay without it and I'm doing fine without a mask. And the last thing I've been loving is my peptide therapy. It's the thing I've been spending the most money on. Um, these are my little vials. Yes, it is a subcutaneous injection. Okay, listen, peptide therapy, internally, subcutaneous injections, some of them can be taken orally. There are uh, sublegal sprays. Peptide therapy, huge subject. So I have another conversation with a peptide therapy expert coming up, so look out for that. Future videos about specifically which ones I'm on, why I'm using them, what I feel like they're doing, now listen, the whole thing is supervised by a physician. I am not recommending anybody do their own, go on the internet, buy their own peptides. But I think the whole peptide therapy space realm is fascinating, promising, super interesting, and so far been a really good experience for me. So I'll be talking. And I know peptide therapy is not for everyone. If those videos aren't for you, I'll just see you in the next one. Skincare, self-care, all the stuff we love to do over here on this channel. I love you guys. I'm excited to see you in the next one. Say hi down in the comments. Bye. I'm here only because you still won't ever let me go. I'm here only because I'm aware with you is better than all alone.